So, you saw how adorable and cute Lily is, and you want to try her out. Well, you came to the right place. In this video, I'll be going over everything Lily, including neutral game, her special moves, her normals, some combos, and her game plan, what she's really supposed to do. So without wasting any more time, let's just jump on into the guide. Starting off with Lily's game plan. Her goal is to get that knockdown on her opponent, and then get those mind games guessing on her command grab. A secondary goal of hers is to get those wind charges that power up her special moves and make them even better. She has two ways of getting these wind charges, but I'll go over that later. In order to get Lily's command grab game going, she has to condition her opponent to stay grounded. This is done by repeatedly using block strings to let the opponent know that you're not going to do a command grab. Well, at least just yet. Once conditioned, you can start going for meaty command grab throws or command grab tick throws. Starting off with Lily's normals, standing medium punch is a great poke. However, it is not special cancelable. In neutral, this will be used to just poke at your opponent while they're trying to poke at you. Much like standing medium punch, crouching medium punch is a great poking tool. It is not, however, special cancelable or drive rush cancelable. Unlike the two previous buttons I just mentioned, standing medium kick is a great whiff punishing tool, as well as it is special cancelable and drive rush cancelable. This will be used as your main poke into drive rush to start your offense. Crouching Medium Kick is one of the more stubby buttons of Lily's. It is special cancelable and drive rush cancelable. Standing Heavy Punch is one of Lily's farthest reaching normals, as this will be used as a whiff punisher and to start your drive rush pressure, or to confirm into a combo. Well I thought Standing Heavy Punch was her furthest reaching normal, but that goes to Back Heavy Punch. This is by far her best whiff punishing tool, as you can extend your whiff punish and confirm it into a combo using drive rush. Crouching Heavy Punch is a double hitting mid that can be special cancelled as well as drive rush cancelled. Spaced out, it only hits once. Standing Heavy Kick is a slow button and pretty stubby. I recommend not using this button as you should use Back Heavy Punch over this. Crouching Heavy Kick is a double hitting sweep that is very minus if they block it. So again, another move I recommend not using. Much like T-Hawk, Lily shares the identical same moves as he does. Condor Spire is a fast forward moving special move that hurls Lily forward using the power of wind. Spaced out, all of these versions can either be plus on block or safe. However, if done point blank, these are very punishable on block, so be very careful. Next up is Lily's DP. This will be her main anti-air move as well as her combo ender. Condor Dive is back. This time it's input by using two punch buttons. To EX it, it's three. The main use for this is to read fireballs and jump over them and punish your opponent. And as a combo ender. As pressing three buttons after doing EX DP will do a Condor Dive follow up. All versions are very unsafe on block, so don't just throw it out all willy nilly. Quarter Circle Back Plus Punch is her wind charge. Hold Light Punch to charge it all the way to 3 stocks. Medium and Heavy Punch are actual physical attacks. On hit or block, this will give Lily a wind charge. However, they're very punishable on block, so be careful. We'll get into what Lily's wind charge does here soon. And last but not least, but we have her Command Grab. Her main tool that she's gonna be scouting out to hit the opponent with. Each version does more damage, as well as the light command grab having the most reach and the heavy command grab having the least amount of reach. However, after landing a command grab, this will send Lily full screen, not giving her any Oki. So what Lily's wind charge does is it changes the properties of all her Condor moves. It increases travel distance on Condor Spire, as well as adding more hits and increasing damage. While in the corner, Condor Spire, while Wind Charge, can give Lily more juggle opportunities to extend her combo. One last thing is that Condor Spire and her Condor DP, while Wind Charge, give her better Oki, so that's something to keep in mind. So in order to get Wind Charges with Lily, you can get them off of these situations. 
This is a great option as it leaves the opponent pretty spaced out and most players will back roll afterwards leaving them spaced out enough to where Lily can get a quick light punch wind charge off. After a command grab is another perfect opportunity to get a wind charge as Lily jumps back full screen. The last way to get a wind charge is to use quarter circle back medium punch or heavy punch during a combo. So that's really it for special moves and how to really use them. Now we're going to move on to combos. If you've made it this far into the video, I just want to say thank you. And the immense support I've been getting lately, especially on my JP guide, is amazing and I'm happy to see it. So again, thank you.
Prepare yourself. Round one. Fight. Prepare yourself. Round one. Fight. Lily win! Round two. 